Hello, welcome to this ROS tutorial. My name is Marco Arruda and today I'm going to show how we can solve the problem of this user. So basically he was trying to copy some files from a workspace to another one and he had a problem in order to compile the new workspace. Okay, so he's saying here he's, he had this first workspace, Catkin Workspace 1 and Catkin Workspace 2. And the problem started after copying the files from the first one to the second and trying to compile. So there is a CMake error right here. And in order to reproduce his, his problem and try to solve, I'm going to use RDS ROS Development Studio provided by the Construct. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one just following the link at the description of this video and start using RDS for free. So let's start creating a new project here. I'm going to call it Catkin Workspaces. Same for the description. And here we have a new project. Let's open it and wait a few seconds until we have our ROS environment ready to be used. If you want to develop applications for robots, you can choose one of the robots available here provided by RDS. Or you can, if you prefer, you can download by cloning a git repository your own simulation. Okay, so let's start showing how you can solve the problem. Uh, we have already some workspaces here, Catkin workspace and simulation workspace. Uh, I have here workspace 2 and 1 that I have just created, so let's remove it and start it from scratch. So let's remove workspace 1 and 2. Okay, now we don't have them anymore. Let's create again. So make dir workspace one slash source minus p and workspace two. So I'm going to initialize the first workspace inside source. Get king initialize workspace. Uh, let's create something here just to not have a an empty workspace. So let's create a package. I'm going to call it my package. It depends on ROS C++ and standard messages. Okay. And inside this package, let's put also something. Let's create a node. I'm going to create just a publisher from the ROS week tutorial. So let's create this talker example. Just to have something to be compiled. Okay, so talker. Uh, actually, I'm going to call it my package node, C++. Okay, paste the content right here. Let's compile it. So we have to enable our executable at the CMake list file. So executable, add executable. So project name underscore node. So my package node, that's the name of the file. And target link libraries. Let's uncomment here. And it's done. So let's try to compile our publisher inside the first workspace. So cat can make. First time may take a while. So let's wait for it. And we should have building and linking messages. Okay, it's done. So now we have our publisher. It's working, it's compiled. And let's try to copy everything from this folder. Okay, so let's take a, a look. We have build dev one source folders. Let's copy everything here to the second workspace. Okay. Let's get into the second workspace, workspace 2. Here we have build dev on source, which were co copied from the first workspace. And let's try to compile again. Let's, let's do some modification inside my package. Okay. Let's change, for example, the name of the node that is being initialized, talker, and try to compile. Okay, so here we have a CMake error. And the problem is that some compiled files are looking for the 
workspace one path but actually it's the file is inside the workspace two that's because there are some cache files that are trying to use the compiled files already to save some some work but that's the problem so you cannot just copy the compiled files which are inside the build and devil folders so if you want to copy a package from a workspace to another that's okay there's no relation there's no relation between a package and a workspace it is inside but if you have compiled files you cannot just copy from a workspace to another one okay so let's fix it actually the fix is just to remove the compiled files and try to compile again okay and there it is we have our node compiled in the second workspace so the problem was basically the user was copying also the compiled files and the source code and the truth is that you have just to copy the source folder okay so I hope it can help you and if you like this kind of video about Rust don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get a new video about Rust every day see you